What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Shogun, and uh, I know this is a gaming channel, but you know, I wanted to touch base on this George Floyd incident. Um, you know, me being a black man in America and kind of having a little platform, as little as it is, I felt you know, it's my duty to say something about this and you know, just try to you know, bring some light into it and. Um, you know, say my thoughts on it and everything, but, you know, before we get this started, um, you know, rest in peace to George Floyd, uh, rest in peace to all actually rest in peace to everybody that, you know, we've lost to police brutality and stuff like that. This is we're just, or just lost the wrongdoing, but, um, <clears throat> you know, prayers up to his family, his friends, anybody that was close to him that knew him and everything. But, um, you know, let's just uh, get right into it. Uh, first of all, let's just call a spade a spade, man. This was, I mean, this was an, an accident. This wasn't, you know, police brutality. This was flat out, you know, murder. It was uh, an assassination right there in broad daylight in the middle of the street for everybody to see right there in uh, Minneapolis. Um, you know, the police officer had his knee on this man's neck for i think they said 12 minutes nine to 12 minutes something like that this man is telling you he cannot breathe um i don't know what else you need he is sitting there like drool is coming out of his mouth you that's i mean what more do you want um and then the fellow officers are just standing there watching like this is just it was ridiculous man like how in the world can you live with yourself as you're sitting there? How can you just go through? You can feel this man's life coming out of his body. Like it doesn't make any sense, but you know, this was just flat out murder. Like the, there's nothing else to call it. And the police officer, all actually all of them should be, should be charged as just now. Um, with all that being said, now I know there's rioting, slash protesting or protesting slash rioting going on right now and you know that's a pretty big pretty big deal um i kind of have mixed feelings on that now as far as people tearing up target and all that like eh, fuck it go ahead do your thing one of the main one of the main problems i have with some of the riots is people are tearing up their own neighborhood. Like you're tearing up your own shops and stuff. Now, you know, I don't mind you going in target and tearing stuff up, but, but don't go tear up these mom and pop shops, you know, like family businesses that's been, you know, there for a long time, you know, staples in the community. Uh, you know, they're right around the corner from your house and things like that. Like that doesn't make any sense to me. To me, that's just like, you know, if somebody did something bad to me and like I see it or I, I know they did something bad to me and then I go home and tear my house up, like what type of sense did that make? Like you did something bad to me, so I'm going to tear up my own shit like um, that. I just don't understand, uh, you know, but I mean, people are upset right now. Maybe they're not thinking straight. Who knows? But as far as, you know, fucking up Target, eh, do your thing. Like, you know, I know it sounds like I'm condoning it, but I mean, I'm not really condoning it, but I understand. So I guess I am condoning it. But I mean, we tried this peaceful protesting for so long. We've done kneeling for the national anthem. That's fallen on deaf ears. Uh, we've done sit-ins. We've done marches. Um pretty much anything we could think of with anything we think of peacefully has fallen on deaf ears. Uh, so I guess this is the way it goes. I mean, you know, just, uh, I don't want y'all to, I don't want innocent people to die in the process of these riots and stuff. So, you know, if you could just riot carefully, if that makes any sense, I know it probably doesn't make any sense at all, but if you could just riot carefully, make sure no innocent lives are lost. Then, you know, I say do your thing, man, because we've we've tried this before and nobody's listening. We can only be peaceful for so long and our voices can't be heard for so long. So now it's time for us to, you know, just get loud, man, and let it be known what's going on. Um, 
Now, with that being said, I also wanted to say this. Um, with the George Floyd incident, uh, a lot of this stuff that we've seen has been getting, we, you know, we see it because it's caught on tape. Um, <clears throat> and I'm seeing people that are like, you know, why are y'all recording? Um, go in there and do something and stuff like that. Now, you know, if you want to go in there and, you know, intervene, then so be it. But be careful who you preach that to, because uh, somebody like me, I'm 32. I'm not going to just because you said something, no mean I'm going to go do that shit. But for the young minds, you know, they're thinking that's what they should do. So if the situation arises for them, you know, they're going to be thinking what you said, man, I go over there and push them off of them and stuff like that. Be careful, man, because you can get our young people killed. You can get our future generations killed by saying stuff like that. And because if they just killed a man that was subdued on his stomach, they put his that. What do you think they're going to do to somebody rushing them? And then they what are they going to say, man? He rushed me. I fear for my life. I don't know what kind of weapon he had. There you go. Now we got another soul lost. So in the process, you might push that officer off of that man. And then here you go. Now you're shot and dead. So you saved one life and lost yours. I mean, it's a, I don't know. I mean, it's really sad what happened and there's really nothing we can do about it. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I don't, I hate to feel bad for saying this, but recording it is probably the best thing that we can do at the time. Because if you try to fight, it's only going to end up worse. You're going to, it's only gonna make the situation worse. Um, I mean, it's, it's so sad. This man had to lose his life for, you know, us to see things like this but please man when you're talking about you know doing something and fighting back especially against law enforcement man be careful of the ears around you because you can definitely you, these young minds are sponges man and they'll they'll remember that and they'll go attack but uh you know that was just one of something i wanted to put up in there another thing i wanted to talk about is you know i mean i, I wanted to talk about white people now, before we get into this, I know not all white people are bad. We have some very, very good allies right now, man, that are, you know, fighting, standing beside us and all types of things. So, you know, I applaud you. And I just want to let you know that your fight with us is not going, you know, unnoticed. Like, I'm very appreciative for everything you guys do for us, um, you know, for the ones that are fighting for us, the ones that speak up for us right now your voices are more important now than ever so with that you know i wanted to i want to you know give you your roses while you're still here i wanted to applaud you guys now for the other white people um you know i wanted to talk about the ones that every time we bring up police brutality they want to bring up you know well white people are more um, are more likely to be killed by police or they are killed by the police than black people well that's because there's more of y'all than there is us so it makes it makes more sense like you know i'm confused that why people always bring that up when there's more of something you have the higher probability of something happening like that so if we could please stop that for a moment um another thing i want to bring up is um whenever we bring up police brutality it never fails that somebody's gonna say well, what about black on black crime well what about it okay so with black on black crime that is something for the community that's something we need to fix ourselves the black community we need to fix black on black crime ourselves that has nothing to do with police brutality so when you bring that up it literally makes no sense because as a man like myself and plenty of other black people that I know that work um, and we pay taxes. Our tax money pays for those police officers. And then when you bring up black on black crime, our tax money does not pay for them niggas down the street to come and protect us. OK, so when you say about black on black crime, when I call, when I pick up the phone or if I ever pick up the phone and have to dial 911, uh, Ray Ray Junebug and Pookie and them from down the street, not about to come and fucking, you know, secure the area or come and make sure there's peace and stuff like that. No, no. My tax dollars do not pay for them niggas to protect and serve me. 
It pays for the police to protect and serve me. So when you talk about black on black crime when in the when it comes to police brutality, please leave that out of out of the question because it doesn't make any sense. Like and you sound dumb as hell. Um another thing I want to go over. I don't want this video to be too long because you know this is a somber occasion, but I wanted to talk about this this Black Lives Matter thing. Um now we have Black Lives Matter. And then there's all lives matter. And then there's blue lives matter. Now, when the situation fits, we use each one accordingly. If a cop is killed um, in the line of duty, then we have a blue lives matter situation. If something happens, I don't know when an all lives matter situation happens, but we'll use that accordingly. Right now is a black lives matter situation. So, Every time somebody says it, they're not saying black lives matter, but yours doesn't matter and yours doesn't matter and yours doesn't matter. No, we're saying we know all lives matter, but at this very moment right now, black lives are in, in trouble. So, you know, we want to shine light on the black lives that matter right now. Um, <clears throat> you know, people always, uh, I've been seeing on social media, this, this analogy that, it's just like you and your neighbor, you're standing outside, your house is on fire, but he's, you know, dousing the fire. He's, he's shooting his house with water, but his house isn't on fire. Your house is on fire and you like, yo, you know, what about my house? And he's like, well, you know, my house matters too, but your house isn't on fire. My house is on fire. So, you know, I'm probably doing it. I'm probably saying it wrong, but you know, that's pretty much how it is with black lives matter. And, um, I know some people, you might not like the organization black lives matter, but for the, the people that are actually like on the front lines, you know, out there protesting, saying stuff like that with black lives matter, we're not saying, you know, your white life doesn't matter or your, um, Asian life doesn't matter or your Hispanic life doesn't matter. We're saying, at this moment right now, you know, because something happened to us that black lives matter. We're just putting that out there right there. I mean, it's nothing against you or nothing against them. You know, like I just wanted to put that out there because some people are going way overboard with this, uh, all, with the lives matter thing. You know, that's just what it is. It's just crazy. And <clears throat> what's really weird is there was literally a no lives matter situation. Like there was no organization, no anything lives matter, no Brown, white, yellow, green, purple, blue. But then it's like once black lives matter came out, it just felt like people were like, Oh no, we can't let them have this. These Negroes can't have this. So we need all lives matter. Uh, Oh no, we, these Negroes can't have black lives matter. We need blue lives matter. So it just feels like, whenever we say black lives matter and then something and then you put whatever else lives matter is that you just want to take what we have and take what you know uh, against us um to me uh, i'm gonna say this real quick and then i'll you know i'm gonna let i'm gonna just end the video because i don't want it to go too long um all lives matter and you know blue lives matter or something it kind of reminds me of a, a tiktok dancer um, I don't know if some of y'all know the, t the app TikTok where it's just a bunch of people doing the same stuff over and over and over again. Like, uh, it's really, I don't know, like <clears throat> what the way I feel about it, comparing it to TikTok is somebody on TikTok will create a dance. And for the most part, the majority of the dances are made by black people. So they make a dance, you know, they put it on TikTok and you know, it doesn't get that much shine. So here comes somebody else, uh, more likely a, a white popular TikTok dancer. They'll come and do the same dance, but get all the publicity for it because they're more well known. So, you know, and they don't get none of the credit. So, you know, when we say black lives matter and you say all lives matter or whatever, we're not, and you're taken away from the black lives matter without giving us none of the credit and making us seem like the bad guy because we say black lives matter. But, I mean, that's just my two cents on it. I don't want to go all over for all on, you know, all day for it. 
um i just wanted you know me being a black content creator no matter how big the platform is i felt like you know i should come on here and say something i know i haven't put too many videos out in a while i've just been dog tired working but this one really spoke to my soul and i really wanted to put this out there um to all the other black content creators you know I think you should say something too. Like all black content creators should say something like, you know, put, put your words out there. Let it be known that, you know, there is unity right now. And even our white friends, our white content creators, um, our white voices that have power, like, you know, um, I saw Tom Brady posted something. Uh, it was on his story. I mean, regardless the story only lasts 24 hours, but that's better than nothing. So, <clears throat> you know, I wouldn't, I mean, Tom Brady saying something, um, all these other, uh, big white celebrities saying something, you know, your voices mean a lot to us right now. Um, I saw, uh, I don't know if we have any WWE fans, but Randy Orton and Seth Rollins both tweeted black lives matter on their Twitter account. I thought that was huge, man. Um, that's very, very big right now. So we need, I mean, I'm, it really, it sucks that it had to come to this for you know people to realize what's going on but i mean i really appreciate all the voices i appreciate all the support that we're getting now i will say this um to all the people that say you know you're gonna ride with the black community and you know you want to help out you gotta know man it, it, this fight is deeper than this it's more than just saying it, just saying it. you gotta be about it you know you can say you're gonna be there for us but you really have to show up now I mean, I don't know if that makes any sense, but if you say you're going to be there, you got to show up. But uh, for the time being right now, you know, you voicing your opinions, uh, you know, showing compassion to us. You're on the front lines with us uh, protesting and everything. You know, it, it means a lot. Like, and, like, and like I said, man, for to all our allies, not just the white people, um, to the Spanish, Asian, um, any any community that's not the black community that's standing with us, you know, it's very we're very very appreciative of it you know it means a lot to us but with that being said guys i'm gonna end this video you know um let's pray for better days it's a it's a cold world we're living in man but uh hopefully this will get better and this too shall pass but when it passed i mean hopefully we learn something from it and we don't have to go through this again but with all that being said man you guys uh y'all take it easy be safe out there man definitely be safe i love you uh we're gonna pray for better days you know you ask god to watch over us and uh y'all take it easy peace